here we have a small air-powered turbine. It's actually an adaptation of an old Fox Girls Model 14 pneumatic integrator. We're using compressed air sent through a control valve through a nozzle to spin up a small turbine. And as that turbine spins, it spins a small DC generator. We measure the voltage on that generator as our process variable. We have to take the generator signal right here in the loop diagram, pass it through a voltage to current converter into our delta V DCS. The DCS then generates a signal out to our valve, the IP, and out to our valve, uh, sending variable amounts of air pressure to the turbine nozzle. This is a surprisingly tricky process to control because the turbine itself has friction that comes and goes. We have a bearing that's going bad, probably in the tackle generator, and so that presents an occasional, almost random load to our system that causes the speed to jump up and down unpredictably, and the valve, of course, has to compensate for that. So with the Delta V system, we have our tuning screen, which I'll close down here. We've got our trend loop, and then over here, our controller faceplate. I can call for a different set point. In this case, I'll go to 70% instead of 50% speed. When I do that, it calls for a higher speed. You can hear the turbo uh, wind up in speed and you can see this settle at the new set point. This is typical of the processes I'll have my students build and tune. The students will build processes like this, uh, something as simple as an air turbine being spun, or perhaps the temperature of a small oven, or some other easy to control process. And then what they will do is practice a PID tuning. Each student will get a chance to tune the control system. And what's nice about systems like this, it's fairly easy to adjust the operational parameters of the system. For example, over here, I have a variable air pressure. I can turn up or turn down, and this air pressure is my supply pressure to my turbine. So obviously, if I turn the air pressure up, that gives a higher gain to the system. Now the same amount of control valve motion will have a greater influence on turbine speed than it did before. So I can do that right now, turning the air pressure up. You can hear the turbine increase speed, but then the control system kicks in and tries to regulate the speed at the set point. But in turning that air pressure up, I've now changed the dynamic of the system. The system now has a higher gain, so overall it'll have more of a tendency to oscillate than it did before. And in fact, we're beginning to see a little bit of that right here. As I turn the gain up, we're seeing a, a greater oscillation up and down around set point.